Hello, welcome back. I'm Stephanie and today I'm plant shopping at Heyman's. Let's see what they've got. They've got a few plants in, in stock ready for spring. And let's take a look. So here we have the Sobe Blueberry Sunday. This is a violet or a viola violet. This one's nine, $7.99. It's in a smaller pot. And then over here, the bigger pots of the viola bowls are $14.99. And right above are some information on care tips, hardy plants, how to prepare them for frost, just in case we get a little bit. Okay, so here there's the assorted cactus table. Quite a bit to choose from. There, these ones here are $7.99. And then over here. The other ones are $4.99 for the smaller ones. And then next, there are assorted succulents for $3.99. Quite a variety to choose from. If you watched one of my recent videos, my haul for February, you see that I got some donkey tail cuttings from a friend and in case you're wondering, no, I was not successful at propagating them. And I'm really disappointed, but I have a feeling it's one of those plants I will never be very good at propagating. It's definitely better for me to buy a plant. So these are $3.99. And there are so many little plants here, so many that I wish I knew the names for. For example, this one, there's no name on this here. I don't know what this is, but it looks very pretty. I enjoy the the pink, the pink parts of the leaves. And then it looks like the new leaves, some of them are yellow. I've never seen this one around before. I wish I knew the name of it. And then another leaf, not another leaf, another plant that I was actually quite curious about is this one. I love yellow leaves. I love, yellow is my favorite color. So that always stands out to me. And if you look at these here, it looks like a little bit of variegation. Ignore my nail. I know. What's new here? Let's see. So here we have the Sansevieria table. This is Tough Lady Snake Plant for $10. Let's see. I did a walkthrough. I will admit I did a little walkthrough before to see if I saw anything that was new. And so... We'll get to it. So here we have, these are koi fin centiverias for $5.99. And down here, there are the variegated ones here also for $5.99. You've seen these heart-shaped ones around, haven't we? Because of February, these are for $14.99. And then here, over here is the moonshine centiveria. These are for $11.99. So there are quite a bit, quite a variety of low light and ZZ plants to choose from. And then at the philodendron table, if I have to take a peek at what stands out to me, that's a sun red for $11.99. And here, the Esmeral Dense for $20 then what's this a fibricatophyllum philodendron for twenty dollars the brantianum for 9.99 they've got some nice options to choose from and here's the tortum this definitely has become more popular more common that's the word i'm looking for these are for 14.99 wow I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to try one, but I'm not a big fan of the leaves. I'm not a big fan. I know that's like the appeal of it, but I have a feeling I would mess this up very quickly. But, and I'm not too keen on trying it right now. All right, so let's see. There's the Mykans 
wow that's a big pot a six inch pot for 25 dollars then there's the philodendron silver sword over here for 9.99 a lot to choose from a lot to choose from and then over here this ring of fire for 20. the prices are coming down on the ring of fire oh my goodness this is so tempting my real my ring of fire took a tumble recently and i lost a few leaves like i love the ring of fire so much that i would get another one i love this plant so much it's really really rewarding it's such an easy plant such an easy plant to grow give it high light and you'll get a lot of um, variegation i definitely definitely recommend so i think i'm gonna pick one for my mom she's always telling me whenever you do these plant shopping videos please pick something that you know i would like and i know she would love this plant so i'm I think I'm gonna grab one for her today because I know that she will absolutely love to get one and I'm looking for one with good variegation but also for one with more than one plant in the pot so this one is a younger but it does have two plants in the pot so I'm gonna hold on to this one as an option I'm all about two plants I'm all about more than one plant in the pot because if one kicks the bucket at least you have another one to work with right and this one up here has two plants but they're two small ones anyways i think i will stick with that one this one is another this one also has two plants in it but let's start with that one i'll take a picture and show her that and see if she likes it then here we have the painted lady this is for 15 wow the prices are coming down on these that is nice and then the bigger ones for 69 these are six inch pots and then the smaller ones here are four inch pots very nice i like the painted lady i just feel like it can get a bit gangly like this one here i've wanted one for a while but i really don't want that gangly look Ooh, some more ring of fires these are for 30 can you imagine when I paid $30 for mine, it was not this big. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. These look beautiful. Oh, yes. Look at this variegation. Oh my. Absolutely worth $30. Look at this leaf. Look at this leaf. Yes, yes, yes. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Wow. Yes, I approve. All right, let's see. The philodendron white wizard wow for 20 these are quite mature like really big leaves that is nice not a lot of variegation on this one but further back you can see a little bit more variegation on them and then down here you've got the brazils philodendron actually the rio it looks a lot like a brazil i've been trying to see the difference between a brazil and a rio i think the rios have bigger leaves Maybe I could look at for a Brazil. And I think the location of the, the variegation is different on a Rio than on a Brazil. We'll find a Brazil and compare them. But that's a Rio. I'm sorry, I didn't check the price. The Rio is $20. All right, let's keep going. And then over here, we have the big Brazils. So these are... Okay, okay. So it looks like the Brazil has a bigger variegation inside and the rio has a thinner stripe of variegation on the inside maybe there is more to it and the rio seems to have like a more yellow variegation and this one is more of like a greenish yellow variegation in the middle not a big difference between the two but still both stunning plants all right so let's keep going so over here are the palms and some beautifully blooming african violets i love the colors like almost like a tricolor here because you have the light pink the deep purple like the violet and the lighter purple very very nice how much are these pots these are for there's no price on them right now okay all right very nice then over here the cast iron plant 
for $20. I've heard that these can be quite hardy and strong plants. Then the Milky Way cast iron plant for $39. Nice. Big ones. Stars and Stripes cast iron. Wow. Yeah, I see the stripe. That's a cute name for this plant. Stars, the speckles, and then the stripes down the leaf. That's pretty smart. That's a nice name. These are for $1.99. And then their locked cabinet of rare plants. So nothing new in here. I'm the same as before. The orange philodendron for $99. The alocasia Friday for $17,999. And then a Spiritus Sancti Philodendron for 60. And then some Monstera Tycons for 50. And then a huge Monstera Aurea for 5.99 over there. Yeah, so a nice cabinet here. And then an Albo, a Epipenum Albo for 79. These are in six inch pots. I'm sorry if you can't really see. Maybe we can take a look at this one. Look at this big guy. This is actually sold. Can you imagine? But it's a looker. It really is. And then over here, there are the pothos plants. But before we go there, let's take a look at this area here. So here are the Monstera Deliciosas. You know, the usual. Just checking out the prices. So these are for $20 and then the Monstera Peru down here these are in five inch pots six inch pots sorry for 30 Monstera Perus can be tricky they can be tricky then let's see and then we have the Aronsonii's the Swiss cheese these are in six inch pots for 25 I think this is the Dubia Monstera Dubia for 39 and it comes with like a a steak inside and here the camouflage camalamina for 12 and then a variegated uh, elbow i must say I, I got this plant for the same price recently and i love it i love it i love it i love it ah love it it's growing really well and it grows very quickly and they're super easy to propagate so i'm going to start propagating mine soon and over here is a silver quill plant of four inch. This one's for $17.99. Very interesting leaves. Look, it looks like a zebra like pattern, not zebra, but a leopard, like a leopard print. That's interesting. Yeah, so very nice selection here. Wow, these are tiny reputable vertigo swimmers. These are for $5.99. I love when they offer these plants in smaller sizes, lower prices, because then you can try out one and see how it works for you. See if you can grow it, see if it can survive in your environment. I think it's a great idea. So over here, a Piper Croquetum for $12. Lovely plants. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the Pothos table. So Pothos Pearl and Jade, six inch for $20. Cebu Blue Pothos for $24. These are also in six inch pots. Lemon Merengue for $29. And then down here, these are Golden Pothos. These pots are six inch for $17.99. This is, is this a Marble Queen or a Snow Queen? Wow, a Marble Queen. This has such high variegation. It makes me think of a Snow Queen. But these are for $6.99, sorry, $17.99 in a six inch pot. And then let's see, what else? We've got the Neon Pothos in a six inch pot for 20. And some more Marble Queen, but smaller ones for ten dollars 9.99 the jade pothos also for 9.99 and then i think this is the elbow no a variegated gigantium epipenum 
This is for $29.99. Okay. I was hoping they would get some more Manjula pothos, but it doesn't seem like they have any in stock just yet. So, oh, nope, that's them up here. Manjula pothos for $20. That's the selection. All right, let's see. What else? So over here, the pros and jade for $9.99. And then Argurius Syndapsis for $20. And then what are these? I think I've seen these around before. I don't quite remember the name. These are jade synapses. These are for 39. Except those fat white leaves. And then over here, synapses silver heel for 20. And then down here are their vining ivy plants. Like what you see? Consider subscribing to be able to easily find my content. And give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so here we're at like the we're at the alopecia area, and over here there's the alopecia longiloba for twenty dollars. Yes, you can see where it gets its name from. Very long leaves with a purple backing, very pretty. And then down here there's the alopecia luke one. This one's for twelve dollars. Then there's the black velvet for nine. I have a black velvet. I really like it. I just find it grows a bit slowly. So I don't think I've perfected its care yet. Then there's the teeny alopecia Jacqueline for 20. Yeah. And here, a uh, Watsiona lightning alopecia. Ooh, that's a pretty leaf. This is also for 20. And then what else? A dark miri alopecia for 15. This one is it a mellow? Yeah. An alopecia mellow for $9.99. I remember when the mellows were so popular. And the mellow looks very similar to the black velvet. But there's something I think about the black velvet I prefer over the mellow. Yeah, I think I prefer the texture of the leaves of the, on the black velvet. Down here there's a uh, poly. For $20. These are in big six inch pots. And then the Silver Dragon. Then there's the Jacqueline over here in bigger pots, the six inch. And then more Jacqueline's down here. What's this one? This is a Regal. So this is an Alpecia Regal. This one's for 20 And then here we're approaching the Hoya section. This is a Hoya Pachawar Alihai. <laughs> oh my goodness, this one's so hard. I've seen this one around before and I just can't say it. It's already on a trellis. It looks like it just needs a little bit of a rinse. This one's for $29. It has a little bit of a black margin on the edges. On the, I don't know if you can see it, but a little bit of a black margin there on the leaves. Not highly veined light green leaves it seems very nice and then here's the hoya section i have an entire video looking at all the plants in this hoya section there's not many more here that wasn't in existence when i first visited this section Ooh, this is a crassi petiolata a six inch looks like it has just very mild splashing on it but it looks like it's mostly like the non-variegated one this one's for 30 and let's see, uh, let's see, let's see. This one's a um, Hoya Australis Lisa, the Carrii, let's see what's here, the Crimson Queen for $7.99. Wow, this is cute. Again, nice that you can get nice, tiny little pots so you could try them out. And then... There's a tricolor Hoya. Is this is the Crimson Princess? Is that the same? Anyways, these are in six inch pots for 20. 
and then bigger crimson queens for 20 these are in six inch pots and then nothing new here the incrassata parasitica squash and then let's see just looking to see if there's anything that piques my interest what's down here this is some more of the crimson queen there's the compacta over here small ones for 7.99 and then big variegated compactas and then over here this is the publicalis or publicalix 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 for 7.99 their new leaves have these really deep burgundy like a deep deep color and then when they mature when they harden off they become like green like this and then let's see what else this is a callisto file over 30 percent off hmm tempting are they all 30 percent off no just that one <laughs> okay and then let's see what else there is the hoya this is the Kodata Sumatra. This one is for 40. Interesting. Very nice. And then I believe that's the Kentiana down here. The Hoya Kentiana. And these, I believe, are for $19. And this is an Obovata inner variegated. These are for $24. And it's like the Hoya Obovata, except there is like a, a light yellow or creamish variegation on the inside. Yeah. All right. So that's what's over here. And then over on this side, there are begonias. And yeah, this is more of the Hoya Publicalix over here, or Publicalix for 15. These are four inch pots. And then yes here are the begonias i always admire their bright red colors the bright purple the bright burgundy colors on them and some of them are flowering a begonia spiral this is a very beautiful begonia spiral i'm trying to capture the flowers here yep these are for 15 dollars So these are their flowering plants. And then down here, there are the anthuriums. These are for $20. Look at the little red and look at the little white on the inside. That's really nice. Okay, so here we're at the prayer plant section. Let's see what's new. So again, I've done an entire video on the prayer plants that they have in stock and the care tips for those plants. I'm just gonna take a peek at what looks new, what looks interesting, see what catches my eye. So here there's a variegated maranta. So maranta variegata in four inch pots. These are for 15, 14.99. And let's see, the Calathea Stella, a six inch pot for 30. Oh, so pretty, so, so pretty. Look at this one, the Mari Queen. That's nice. I like the inner variegation on this. It almost looks like flowers on the inside. These are for 25. That's really nice. And then the Calathea lancifolia here. This one is the Calathea network. So they've got a nice healthy looking bunch. Most of them look really nice. And they've got big, big plants. Big Stramanthi Triostars over here for $30. Very, very pretty. Wonderful. So over here, there are the King Sagos. These are for $20. And what's down here? Is an Anthurium. Anthurium Villanorum for $35. And then let's see then there are air plants over here some hanging upside down let's see so some are hanging upside down some are for ten dollars 
very cute do you have air plants do you like air plants these are for 29 wow very interesting i don't know much about air plants so needless to say i don't have any but they're quite interesting okay right. so as you can see they're gearing up for spring so we're going to take a look at their spring selection but let's finish up the anthuriums these are for 11.99 and we've got the pink ones and the white ones very nice okay there's the dracaena area or dracaena so they've got quite a wide selection wow there's like a sea of them over here so many to look at so let's see this is a sunrise this is for $17.99 the jade jewel dragon tree this is for $7.99 this one's pretty I really like this one and then this dragon tree here is for $15 and then you've got these cute little pots here, two and a half inch pots. These different bakias for four dollars. Oh, look at that different bakia stardust over there! Wow, that's one ninety nine. That is in a twelve inch pot. It's huge. And then you have the tropic snow different bakia. I have this one. This is so easy to grow. This is seven ninety nine. Then the Cool Beauty different back here for $34.99. Look at that variegation. Wow. It just has the outer, like the outer bit of it, the margin is green. Well, actually not even green. There is white on the tips here. And then green and then white again. That's very unique. The Green Magic here for $25. And then let's see. Starbright different back here for $20. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. Look at those long leaves. And some of them you have more of a green speckled variegation. And then some of them you have more of like a white speckled. Some are cream variegation. It's gorgeous. All right, let's keep going. I wish I could look in detail at every single plant, but then we'll miss a lot, right? What's over here? I love these. My mom has one of these. It's very pretty very red chinese evergreen these are for 25. let's see yeah beautiful selection my mom has this this is a silver bee this is for 29 29 a very generous plant it will multiply and grow beautifully very easy to grow as well all right and then there are bigger silver bees on this side so over there are the tropicals let's see what else Okay, so here they've got their hydrangeas ready. Can you imagine? Already blooming. These are for how much? Can I find the price? Let's play find the price. Do, 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 do. There they are. There's the price. It's a six inch pot for $20. Beautifully potted hydrangeas. Time to look be their best for Easter. All right, very nice. So they've got so many colors. There's like a light pink color with sort of like a light cream, almost like a creamish greenish inside. And then here there's got the, they've got the minty green hydrangeas. And then if we keep going further down and keep looking at their sea of hydrangeas, we would see this bright, almost like a fuchsia pink. It's, gorgeous this bright pink color and then a little bit of a mixture of like a green with the red or pink margins very very nice very pretty and if we go inside we're going to get some more okay so we get like a nice view here of their entire space ded dedicated to spring the spring plants so over here is a lenten rose so these are large up facing flowers, glossy oval compound leaves, remain dark green throughout the year. 
one of the first flowers to come up in cool weather plant does not like to be disturbed caution harmful if eaten skin irritants so if you've got pets dogs cats that go outside you'd want to be careful with these but these are really pretty look at the deep burgundy color of those flowers that contrast with the light green on the inside and sort of like a cream as well these are really pretty they've got some other colors here so they've got a different setup where you've got the purple on the outer parts and then the creamish color on the inside that's stunning these are for $29 oh, this is so pretty oh the white ones like the minty white ones have quite a few new buds very nice over here again a sea of hydrangeas So cute for the cute little owls. Or oh, was I perhaps smelling the scent of a hyacinth? The scents of the hyacinth flowers are so strong that I could see if some people actually don't like it because it's such a potent floral scent and it can be extremely sweet. So they've got hyacinths here, their bulbs, daffodils as well. These are for $7.99 and then tulips as well. Over here, they've got their orchids. Wow, look at those flowers. These are for $14.99. Ooh, look at this one. Look at the, the stem on this one. It's curling. That's pretty. This is for $34.99. Wow, they've got like a sea of orchids over here. Gorgeous. And then over here, these have these have bigger leaves. Sorry, or bigger petals. Very pretty. These are for $29. Then over here are what is called buttercups. These are $3.99 for pots. Ooh, look at the bright orange color. This is my kind of color. This burnt orange color is very nice. And pink, light pink. Ooh, and this almost looks like a carnation. Last but not least, they have citrus trees. So here for $50 are the Meyer lemon trees. They've got some advice on citrus care. Make it tropical. Citrus can grow out, outdoors when it's warm, but must be indoors for the winter. Bring indoors when temperatures drop below five degrees celsius then there is oh calamondin the other lime it's called the finger lime down here for 39 the key lime for 50 and then the buddha's hand these are for 39 and the keeper's lime very nice there are also herbs all kinds of herbs sweet basil greek oregano curled parsley thyme chives lemon balm they're all for 3.99 and on the other side there is peppermint chocolate mint Spearmint, mint, mojito, pineapple sage, and tricolor sage. Guessing this is the tricolor sage down here. Again, all for 
Thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate you spending some of your day with me. If you liked this video, I think you may enjoy the other content on my channel. Please consider subscribing and here are some video options that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.